create your stunning website. Hey YouTube. I have a Dell printer that I'm working on today. It got a paper jam problem. Um, this is a printer head. So I had to go in and clean up everything as you can see. This is the paper jam right here. Um, it's a Dell printer. Um, it's a Dell printer. Uh, V515W. So, based on my research, I have to uh, fix some of this problem. So, I'll try to do um, a driver up, up, upgrade. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a driver upgrade. Perhaps that will work. If it doesn't work, then what I would do the next is to actually go in and remove the cartridges, meaning um, the ink jet, the inks. So I will remove them and then take the printer head and replace the printer head because that will definitely solve the problem. But meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead first and download the driver for the printer head and see if that will work. So I'll come back, I'll put this video on a pause and I'll come back. Hopefully that works. So as I was saying, this is actually... Now I'm remo removing the ink. And this is the printer head. This is the printer head right here that I need to replace. So to replace it, I have to snap this guy out snap this little switch and remove it and here is the printer head You gotta really be careful when you try to get a pin head out. As you can see, this is the pin head, and you also have to really be careful not to touch um, this sensitive area. This is the sensors of the pin head. Um, but this is what actually has gone bad um, that I have to replace the pin head. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and order it. Um, and I'll replace it with a new one and try to see back that this thing comes back up and running. So as I was saying, this is actually, now I'm re removing the ink and this is the printer head. This is the printer head right here that I need to replace. So to replace it, I have to snap this guy out, snap this little switch, and remove it. And here is the printer head. You gotta really be careful when you try to get a pin head out. As you can see, 
this is the print I had and you also have to really be careful not to touch um, this sensitive area this is the sensors of the print I had um, but this is what actually has gone bad um, that I have to replace the print I had um, so I'm gonna go ahead and order it um, and then I'll replace it with a new one and try to see back that this thing comes back up and running now I have this part right here which is the um, which is the print I had uh, which I just ordered so I'm opening it um, the print I had uh, so you gotta really be careful when um, when you touch the printer head and make sure you don't touch the sensitive part um, so just make sure you um, get it out and this is the most sensitive part that you you don't want your hand to touch um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, take this printer apart take this first layer off and I'll take the second layer off and I'm gonna remove very good I'm gonna remove the 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 um, the ink these are the two ink that I have to take out first uh, okay so two ink snap it and the ink is out take the ink out snap the next one the ink take the ink out these are two ink but this is this is the printer head that I'm actually trying to to remove so I'm gonna go ahead to remove the printer head, I have to actually be careful so that you don't break this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and move it a little bit. So it's like this little switch right here. This little switch right here, you have to snap it a little bit and pull it. And pull it up. To get a printer head so now I'm going to get a printer head out so you just gotta really be careful when you try to get a printer head. So what I did was I hold this two end, this end and this end, and then hold this two end, two ends right here, this end and this end, and then pull it. Pull the printer head out, and I'm gonna replace it with this other printer head. Uh, same. So this is the bad one. This is the. All right. So I'm gonna put the new one that I just replaced. And slowly insert it. Here we go, I have it inserted. And next, put the ink. Well, I'm gonna put the black ink first. Alright, 
right, so we're secure. I just snapped it in. So I'm gonna close, close it and see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put back the plug. So it's aligning. So it's printing a test page while it's aligning it. Um, the ink uh, so that you have a, a normal print out. Um, so let's see what's happening. Hopefully, something will come out and that will solve the problem of a uh, print ahead um, error on a Dell V51 V51. V515W. Um, so it's, it's doing an alignment. Hi YouTube. This is Moment of Truth. Finally, I fixed this um, printer, the V515W. There. there you go. As you can see, the printout just came out. Boom, took care of it. All right, that's how you fix it. So what I did was, I had to actually use a vacuum cleaner. Um, I used my vacuum cleaner. Um, vacuum Thank you too. This is very good.